Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's try to do an example where we have to calculate the power factor. What are we given? We're given that we have a three-phase motor consuming 4.8 kilowatts. So that's the load. It's the motor consuming 4.8 kilowatts when the line voltage is 220 volts and the line current is 15.4 amps. What is the power factor? So to get a feel again what the power factor is, First of all, we need to understand the triangle, which represents the real power, the reactive power, and the complex power, also known as the apparent power. And the apparent power, the complex power, can be found by taking the square root of 3 times the line voltage times the line current. Notice the relationship here is that this is the phase angle between uh, what we call the complex power and the real power. And if we take the cosine of the phase angle, that is the power factor. The power factor varies from 1 when the phase angle is 0 to 0 when the phase angle is 90 degrees. The real power is the power consumed by the resistance portion of the impedance. Here we have the reactive portion of the impedance, which is not consumed. It is absorbed and given back, absorbed and given back to the system. And then the complex power is simply the sum of those two, which consists of the real power plus the reactive power. So, how do we find the power factor? Well, by looking at the triangle and finding the relationship here is knowing that the cosine of phi is, is equal to, let's write that down, the cosine of the phase angle, by definition, is defined by the adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse. And the adjacent side would be P, and the hypotenuse is S. So, in essence, we can find the cosine of the phase angle, which is the power factor, if we know the real power, and if we know the, measure, not the measure, but the complex power, or the apparent power. Now, the real power is given to us at 4.8 kilowatts. We just don't know what the complex power is. So, let's figure that out. The complex power is equal to the square root of 3, times the line voltage times the line current. In this case, that's the square root of 3 multiplied times the voltage. The line voltage is 220 volts and the line current was given to us as 15.4. All right, let's calculate the magnitude of that. And so here we're calculating the magnitude of the apparent power. So we take the square root of 3, multiply times the voltage, multiply times the current, and we get 5868.2. So S equals 5868.2. And of course, that would be in terms of watts. And that is the total magnitude of that. Now we can see that the power factor is equal to the ratio of P over S. P is 4800. S is 5868.2 and let's take that times 4800 equals and that would be 0 0.818. 0 0.818 is the power factor of this particular system. And that is how it's done.